By the way, did you see this? Yeah, what's that? The Leonard Christian article about my show. Plus, my gig in Miami got canceled. I bet just because of the article. Wow. It really does a number on you. Seinfeld froze like a deer in the headlights <laughs> in the face of incessant heckling. I should have let her have it. I held back because of Kramer. You know what you ought to do? You should go to her office and heckle her. Yeah, right. You know, like all the comedians always say, how would you like it if I came to where you work and heckled you? Yeah, that'd be something. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You should do it. But wouldn't that be the ultimate comedian's revenge? I've always had a fantasy about doing that. Well, go ahead. Do it. Why can't I? No reason. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. She came down to where I work, I'll go down to where she works. <laughs> this is unprecedented. There's no precedent, baby. <laughs> what, are you using my babies now? <laughs> hey, nice shoes. What, do you wear sandals to work? It's always nice to walk in a room and get the aroma of feet. That's real conducive to the work atmosphere. I'm sure your coworkers really appreciate it. Hey, let's go eat in Toby's office. Great idea. We can check on our bunions. You know, uh, I have work to do here. I'm very busy. Oh, is this disruptive? Do you find it hard to work with someone interrupting? Well, you know, how'd you like it if I called security? Security? Well, I don't know how you're going to make it in this business if you can't take it. Oh. You got to be tough. <laughs> Boo! Boo! in here. To Toby! Toby! My pinky toe! Toby! Oh! Oh! What did you go up there to heckle her for? Because she came down to the club and heckled me. I gave her a taste of her own medicine. Oh, yeah! You gave her a taste of medicine, all right. Well, I didn't want her to have an accident. What accident? Well, after he heckled Toby, she got so upset, she ran out of the building, and a street sweeper ran over her foot and severed her pinky toe. <laughs> That's unbelievable! Yeah, then after the ambulance left, I found the toe. So I put it in a Cracker Jack box, filled it with ice, and took off for the hospital. What? You ran? No, I jumped on the bus. I told the driver, I got a toe here, buddy. Step on it. <laughs> Holy cow! Yeah, yeah. Then, all of a sudden, this guy pulls out a gun. Well, I knew any delay's gonna cost her her pinky toe, so I got out of the seat and I started walking towards him. He says, where do you think you're going, Cracker Jack? I says, well, I got a little prize for you, buddy. Plow, plow, yeah! Knocked him out cold. How could you do that? Yeah, then everybody is screaming because the driver, he's passed out because of all the commotion. The bus is out of control. <laughs> So I grab him by the collar, I take him out of the seat, I get behind the wheel, now I'm driving the bus. <laughs> You're Batman. Yeah, yeah, I am Batman. <laughs> then the mugger, he comes to and he starts choking me. So I'm fighting him off with one hand and I kept driving the bus with the other, you know? <laughs> then I managed to open up the door and I kicked him out the door, you know, with my foot, you know, at the next stop. You kept making all the stops? <laughs> Well, people kept ringing the bell. <laughs> well, well, what about the toe? What happened to the toe? Well, I am happy to say that the little guy is back in place at the end of the line. <laughs> you did all this for a pinky toe? Well, it's a valuable appendage.